A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Thursday, April 13th. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. Several Orange County fire departments were called out to fight a brush fire in the town of Deer Park yesterday as dry weather sparked several brush fires. That fire was reported late Wednesday morning in Chin Hollow Road with over 20 acres involved, said Huguenot Fire Chief T.J. Kalin. Neighbor Vince Semanic was very worried about the spread of the fire. We've been up here over 70 years, and this is the first time something like this has actually happened. I come out every so often to look, and I see it's getting closer and closer. Pete Pesci, also a neighbor, said the weather was not helping the situation. The concerns is is that it keeps spreading. You know, it's very windy, it's dry, haven't had any rain or snow in a while, so that that's a concern. Afternoon brush fires also burned in New Hampton, New Windsor, and the city of Newburgh. Orange County Fire Coordinator Vinnie Tancaselli said, particularly in this dry, low-humidity weather, be careful about outdoor fires. Discarding cigarettes uh, properly, smoking devices such as cigarettes, matches, and proper containers. Uh, that we see a lot of fires caused by that, whether that's you know people throwing cigarettes out windows into leaves or, or just trying to put them out uh, in dry brush. We do recommend people also on their properties, especially around houses, that they remove any dried leaves or dry uh, dead vegetation that may be surrounding the houses. And Tanka Sally says people should abide by the state outdoor burn ban which expires on May 14th. Police are continuing to investigate two robberies that occurred Tuesday in the town of Woodbury. Police were dispatched to the parking lot of Columbia Sportswear in Woodbury Common for a reported armed robbery of an individual. Based on initial reports and stationary license plate readers, Woodbury police were able to quickly identify the vehicle in which two men fled. Police spotted that vehicle in the area of Route 32 and Smith Clove Road, and saw two other men run across the road and jump in just after committing a second robbery at Mechie's Deli and Juice Bar in Central Valley. As officers attempted to stop the vehicle, the suspects fled into surrounding woods. One suspect, a juvenile, was taken into custody. Union carpenters from the North Atlantic Region Council Local 279 in Rock Tavern joined Orange County District Attorney David Hoovler at a rally on Wednesday calling attention to wage theft and tax fraud. As New Yorkers across the state file their taxes this week, their tax bills will be higher than they should be because of contractors who cheat their workers out of hard-earned wages, said Scott Smith, Carpenter's Local 279 business manager. Fire Wednesday evening damaged an old factory building at 222 DuPont Avenue, In the city of Newburgh, several fire departments from both sides of the Hudson River fought the blaze that appeared to have been contained to a rear storage area. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. Weary and worried that Republicans will cut Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and veterans' benefits, residents and activists gathered Wednesday at the Frank D. Greco Community Center in Saugerties to voice their concerns and displeasure with the potential threats to the social safety net. The gathering was part of the Courage for America bus tour, which is stopping en route to Washington, arriving by October 17th, for Kevin McCarthy's 100th day as Speaker of the House, and to pressure Congressman Marcus Molinaro and other Republicans to thwart MAGA extremists within the GOP. Moises Montalvo, a U.S. Army veteran, is organizer and spokesman for Courage for America. As a veteran, I want to call attention to the fact that uh, my VA benefits are on the line, um, that my... uh, 
you know, the Medicaid, the Medicare, the Social Security that supports my family, my dad, that's on the line. Uh, and I want to call attention to the fact that, you know, politicians are, are playing political games and political brinksmanship with the uh, default crisis. Molinaro told Mid-Hudson News yesterday that he's made his stance well known. This is a red line for me. We must protect Social Security and Medicare. We certainly have to protect veterans' benefits. And rather than manufacturing outrage against people that agree with them, I encourage they work with me and members like me committed uh, to ensuring the long-term solvency of these programs. The bus tour started in Bakersfield, California, about two weeks ago. It's been making its way through the country before it ends in the nation's capital next week. Authorities have identified the body recovered from the Hudson River near the Mid-Hudson Bridge in Poughkeepsie earlier this week as that of a Kingston woman. The Dutchess County Sheriff's Office said the victim was 32-year-old Tashauna Bogle. Deputies say she was the woman who jumped into the river from the kingston Rhinecliff Bridge on December 11, 2022. Her body was recovered on this past Monday. State Controller Thomas DiNapoli has issued a report on industrial development agencies around the state and their sister local development corporations, and in some cases found issues with them. A recent audit of the city of Poughkeepsie IDA found 22 active projects and $381 million in total project value in 2021. The state audit found the board did not properly evaluate, approve, and monitor projects that receive financial benefits. A 31-year-old inmate serving his second stint in prison for weapons possession injured an officer when he picked up a barbell and threw it at the officer at the Maximum Security Greenhaven Correctional Facility in Stormville. The account of the incident was provided by the union representing the officers, New York State Corrections Officers Police Benevolent Association. The officer was able to use his hand to block the 25-pound weight from hitting him in the upper chest. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.